guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Luis. I'm a medical student here in the Philippines and today I'll be discussing about the NMAT. So in this video, I'll be giving a general overview of what the NMAT is and then I'll be giving my tips for how to maximize your score so that you can perform at your utmost best come exam day. As usual, links will be in the description for the different parts of the video. So first of all, what is the NMAT? Well, the NMAT is a standardized test administered twice a year here in the Philippines as an entrance exam for aspiring medical students. The test is held every March and October here in the Philippines and every October in the US. The NMAT is divided into two parts. The first part tests your aptitude, while the second part tests your academic proficiency. Each part is subdivided into four subtests. For part one, these are verbal reasoning, which tests your comprehension and word analogy skills. Inductive reasoning, which tests your ability to discover patterns within a given set of letters or numbers. Quantitative, which tests your ability to apply mathematical concepts. And perceptual acuity, which is your tests your ability to find patterns in visual images. Part 2 consists of the three major sciences, chemistry, biology, and physics, and the social sciences, which mainly consists of psychology, sociology, and anthropology. So how is the NMAT graded? So given it's a standardized test, the NMAT is graded based on how well you perform relative to others. So you're given a rating from a scale of 200 to 800 with the mean being 500. And depending on how well you perform relative to the mean of the set of people who took the exam, you'll be placed on that scale either closer to 800 or closer to 200, with 800 being the top score. And based on your score on that scale, you'll be, you'll be converted to a percentile rank which shows how well you did relative to your peers. So looking at my individual score, I placed at the 99th percentile rank. So that means I performed better than 99% of test takers in my batch. So now that I've explained what the NMAT is, I'll now go over my tips so that you can maximize your own score and perform at your very best. So my very first tip is to decide whether or not you, des you will go to a review center or do self-review. If you want and can afford it, I recommend you attend the review center. By attending a review center, you get to go through the review process without having to really think about what you have to review each week as you approach the exam. Because the review center will provide you all of that from the scheduling to the mock exams. If you decide to go through the self-review route, it allows you more flexibility but at the same time requires you to have more discipline to plan out the days you study for the NMAT. Which brings me to my second tip, plan out your NMAT review days. Since most students review for the NMAT during their senior year of college, you'll have to balance reviewing for the exam while fulfilling your obligations as a student. How I managed to do this during my review is that I would block off a specific day of the week that I would dedicate as my NMAT review day where I wouldn't do anything school related and just focus on my NMAT review. This form of time management allowed me to space out my requirements so I didn't have to cram. My recommendation is that you dedicate a specific day in the week to just studying the NMAT so that you don't end up jumping from reviewing for schoolwork to reviewing for NMAT several times throughout the week. My third tip for you guys is to know your weaknesses. With the limited amount of time you have to study for the NMAT, it's important to know what to focus on. As I said earlier, the NMAT compares your performance relative to your peers to determine your percentile graph. Given that, you want to perform overall very well in all subjects rather than just really performing well in certain subjects. This will overall boost your percentile round. For example, I knew that I was very weak at visual acuity. That's why I spent a lot of time during my review working on that skill so that I could boost my score as high as I could come exam day. Although it was not my highest score as seen in my grade breakdown earlier, it was much lower before I actually started the review and actually jumped up 100 points compared to what I had at the beginning. For my next step, I recommend that you make a cheat sheet of all the relevant mathematical equations that you need to know for the exam. Especially in chemistry and physics where a lot of the questions are just applications of the concepts and the different formulas that you need to know. Knowing the formulas will make those questions very easy to answer because you just need to plug and play the different variables that they've already given to you. So by making a cheat sheet of all the equations you need to know, it gives you easier access to review them more regularly during your review period. Uh, for sources, I'll leave links down in the description below for the websites I referred to in making my cheat sheet for my NMAT review. And for my last and probably most important tip for getting the highest score you can in the NMAT is to take mock exams. Because at the end of the day, the NMAT is an exam and although it's testing your knowledge, it's also testing your test-taking skills. 
And the best way to prepare for an exam is to take as many mock exams as possible. So during my review, I took at least 5 mock exams and several exercises per subject. What this allowed me to do, it allowed me to understand how each question is structured per subject. For example, in math, I would understand how would they create the question and the choices. So that come exam time, when I would look at them, I could know how to eliminate certain answers so that I could narrow down my choices to two, even though I didn't really know how to answer the question. And I attribute my getting a 99 percentile on the NMAT to taking all these mock exams. That's why I recommend that you find every way you can to get hold of mock exams from your friends, from your org mates, from your relatives, and that goes whether you're taking already taking a review center or you're studying by yourself. Because by having these materials, you increase your chances to score higher on exam day. So to recap what we discussed today, I went over what the NMAT is and how it grades you. I then went over my general tips for reviewing for the NMAT, which included deciding whether or not to self-study or go to the review center, making a schedule so that you can balance your review with schoolwork, focusing on improving your weaknesses so that you can improve your overall score for the exam, making cheat sheets so you can have easy access to the important concepts, and lastly, using mock exams to maximize your test taking ability and so to max and thereby maximizing your score on exam day. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.